this video, I'm going to talk about the weekly menu planner module that uh, LS Central has to offer for their hospitality customers. So the weekly menu planner is a place where restaurant managers can go ahead plan for the coming weeks for what they would like to offer to the customers and help them with material planning and all of those kind of things. So I will walk you through details for, for that. So to get to that page, we will go weekly menu planner. So once uh, you get to the screen, uh, it shows you the date filter that you're in and you can select which week of the year you're working in. So I'm just going to select the ninth week. So this is what the uh, ninth week looks like. It starts on March 1st, goes on until March 7th, until Saturday, or actually Sunday. So this is where the, cust uh, the restaurant manager would come and say that, okay, for this week, I would like to have four dishes, starter, main course, main course, vegetarian, and a dessert. And uh, I would like to make sure that all of these these dates have the same menu. So what we can do is that we can create a menu plan for Monday and we can copy it over to the rest of the days here. And I will show you how to do that. Now you need to go to actions, click on create day plan and create day plan for the period. Now you tell the, the system that you're planning to set this up for the whole week from 1st until March 7th and press OK here. So now the system will allow you to create a plan for these days. Now you can simply go in here by clicking on the number here and it takes you to a new screen where you will be selecting the items for different dishes here. and. You can go down to the lines here. So for the soup, you, you have to select an item. And once you click on that button, the system filters for all the soup items in your system. And as you see here, there's just two options here. So for this one, I'm going to select uh, chicken and corn soup. Press OK here. And for main course, I'll again go here. And I will select chicken with brown rice as a main course item. Now for a vegetarian main course item, I will select roasted vegetables. And for dessert, I can pick homemade apple pie. Now I have uh, I have decided what my items are going to be for different dishes for the day, and. Uh, now we can go to the plan quantity of portions and decide okay how many items do i think i'm going to be selling on that particular day and how many items do i need to prepare so uh, this can this information can come in from some of the sales report that you have for the previous times where you can see that okay last week or last month i had sold uh, 100 items uh 100 soups on monday and possibly 100 tubes on the rest of the days of the week. So for just for an example, I will just take 100 here for each of these items. And then once all of this is entered here, the unit price uh, at which it's going to be offered. Now, uh, now that you have decided what you have to prepare for that day you can start producing recipes for this and see if you have enough ingredients in your system or in your restaurant to place an order for these items and prepare them so for that we will go to produce recipes under actions we can go uh, and check availability for all the ingredients in these items here that we see so let's check availability and the system says that five out of five of these have some missing ingredients uh, the system provides you with a list of all the ingredients that are missing 
uh, the required quantity and the available quantity in the system. So this list is very helpful for the restaurant managers to make sure that uh, the material that they require to prepare those recipes, the ingredients, they need to be ordered and make sure that this is the required quantity uh, and at least this must be there to prepare that that recipe. So this makes the process easy for them to placing an order and they do not have to uh, order based on judgment. Now, uh, usually some restaurants would take this list and place a purchase order and order all of these items from the head office. Some restaurants would uh, take a list of these items and go to their local grocery store or one of their grocery vendors and tell them to order all of this and get an invoice. So it would uh, go through the purchasing process in the system, which of course is offered by the software, uh, but it's out of scope for this video. But uh, since we have this list, I'm just going to uh, make adjustments and make sure that these items are ready for us to move on to the next stage so that I can show you uh, what scenario you can cover if you have these items in your inventory and how to produce recipes. So I have made some adjustments here and made sure that all of the missing ingredients are now in the system. And now when I check availability, it shows me that all the ingredients for these uh, items that need to be prepared are available. So that, that is good news for us because now we can move on to the next step of producing the recipe. So for producing the recipe, this is basically a step where you say all the items or all the ingredients inside this particular items. I will show you an example. So under chicken and corn soup, you will see that uh, all the ingredients are listed here, corn, onion, salt, chicken, and the quantity uh, per portion to prepare this. So this is a very good detailed information that you can leverage to make sure that you do not have any wastage, you don't do not over order or under order. Uh, the costing of, uh, of the ingredient is also here, which can help the restaurant managers and minimizing the costs so uh, the process for producing recipes just means that the inventory item for all of these four will be reduced and quantity on hand for this chicken corn soup will go up and i will show you what that looks like in the system in just a minute so now we will go ahead and produce recipes here and the system will Okay, so now the system has uh, posted the assembly order and you can go to the posted assembly order and see the creation of that recipe. Uh, and you see here all the ingredients that were used. The quantity, unit cost and all of that good information is here. Now you can go to navigate and look at the item ledger entries for for this particular action that we took and you see that the items that we had ingredients for such as uh, it's just flour and uh, salt milk and butter that we had have uh, the quantity for those items has been reduced from the system and the quantity for the brown sauce has gone up to 50. So this is uh, the purpose behind producing recipes. And uh, this is very helpful for restaurant managers for tracking costs, tracking quantity on hand, because the ingredients that were used in producing this recipe are not available to you anymore and uh, that is being recorded in the system and if there's any wastage all of those things can also be noted here so this comes in very handy for uh, most managers and okay so now the day plan has been created for march 1st 
and you would like to copy over everything that has been done for March 1st onto the next days. So what you can do here is copy the plan over a particular period. And you can say that, okay, until March 7th, all the dishes say the same. You can say override if everything exists. You can choose store here. And you can press OK here. So as you see here, these items have now been copied over to all the days. And you can go ahead and produce recipes for the entire week from here. As I showed you, the process stays the same. You're just doing it for a bigger period. And everything can be managed from the screen now. So hopefully this video was helpful for you to understand the weekly menu planner module that LS Central has to offer. And hopefully it makes things easier for you in the future. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.